Hi. My name is Teddy Rockspin. There is a nice trick I want to share with you today. With the MIDI to CV module from Hex Inverter. Synchronizing your modular with external MIDI devices. There's a bunch of other nice modules able to convert MIDI signals to the modular world. Although each of those units may have their own properties, the trick will be the same. So don't worry, you'll be able to achieve the same results. Let's dig this trick before we start puking cues of the annoying voice. MIDI to CV modules will convert MIDI information. They might have different outputs corresponding to their MIDI parameters. There's two outputs you need to locate on your unit. The note or pitch output you usually send to the 1 volt per octave. And the gate output, usually sent to trig the envelope needed for the amplitude. We will use the gate output to trig your desired module. Like sequences, clock distributor modules, clocking delays or anything in desperate need for a trig. And we can use the CV output to the reset input of those units, or to trig anything your creative mind is up to. Those MIDI to CV modules are good, when you need to use a MIDI keyboard or use some MIDI files for you knoblings. But today we reserve another purpose to those modules. The trick is simple. Each note will give you a signal at the gate output no matter what note is. But the higher the note is, the more voltage is at the note output. You need to find the highest and the lowest significant notes. Use the lowest notes for continuous clocking and the highest note for the reset trig. To make it simple, there will always be signal at the gate output no matter what, but at the note output, the signal will be perceived only when the note is high enough. I have made a bunch of preset MIDI clips with different clocking and reset patterns. I like to have the first trig with the highest note, to have the reset signal on the first beat. But it's up to you if you want to experiment with this. Useful for weird polyrhythmics but always synchronized to the desired tempo. You can bet my mother would be proud of me. If not for the fact that she does not gives a shit about this trick. Let's try this with two sequencer. And some different MIDI clip patterns. A MIDI controller like this launchpad from Novation is very practical. Clips with more gates will run the tempo faster. Change the space between each gates for various grooves. The MIDI, to CV, from Hex Inverter allows you to have up to 4 MIDI channels at the same time. It is now a discontinued module, but the mutant brain promises to be even more powerful. Having a bunch of MIDI clips can be a nice way to jam with your modular for a live set. You can send the CV output to any type of input, clocking delays, send to clock divider or multiplier, step sequences direction or axes. Experiment with this, let your creativity blow your own mind. Some excellent devices, drum machines keyboards or any stuff you like may be equipped with nice sequencing features. Like this Digitact for instance. It can be inspiring to jam far away from the computer screen. Let's play a bit with some of the MIDI tracks and compose some tricks. The modules affected at the moment are 
the pressure points, the rotating clock divider, the echo phone's tempo, and some noise that somehow cross-modulate the audio signal with the Double Loud or Mark II. I hope you learn something new today. You may already own a MIDI to CV module and will find a new function for it. Feel free to ask if something is unclear, or you may have a subject you want me to cover, in another annoying video. Nevertheless, thank you for watching. <laughs>